Hello everyone, Carson here, and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I wanted to take a really quick look at the difference between selfhostedwordpress.org and WordPress.com. Now those are two fairly well-known names, WordPress.org being much more well-known. However, some people wonder what the major difference between WordPress.com is and WordPress.org, as well as which one they should go with. So in this video, I'm going to answer that. Now, first of all, we have to understand what WordPress.org is. WordPress.org is basically an open source CMS or content management system, which you can use to self-host on your hosting platforms. For example, it's usually recommended that you go with a really good VPS host like Scala Hosting, which I will have actually a link to in the description. However, WordPress.org is primarily self-hosted and it is primarily used for other hosting platforms as well. But the nice thing about it is it's entirely free. What this means is all you have to do is focus on buying a good web hosting plan and then you can host WordPress.org on it. Now, WordPress.com is essentially a premium paid version of WordPress.org. It's a basically subscription based service you could think of it similar to wix but instead it's just wordpress now wordpress.com the biggest downside which you need to be aware of and which what i the reason why i personally don't recommend it is because wordpress.com you lose a lot of features and functionality when you use their plans although it is good for some situations in my opinion it's much better to just host it on your own hosting plan and if you get a good hosting plan you can get much better performance and speeds as well now that is actually why i recommend getting a plan like Scala Hosting's VPS hosting because that hosting has so many features. It's got free website migration, a 30 day money back guarantee, free backups, free automation, a very, very good free security system, and a bunch of other features. So if you want to check them out, you can actually do that using my link in the description. Of course, if you want to check out WordPress.com, you can use my link in the description to check out WordPress.com as well. That is going to do it for today's video though. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.